everybody. We're starting it. I have a little more than an hour to do this, so let's do it in a stream. We are going to take the 100 characters. Actually, I have 90 here. There are 90 here. And we are going to finish off and draw. Do I have enough papers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not nine papers. How is that possible? Well, we'll cut one more if we need it. If we have, well, we need it, but yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. I am going to be trying my hardest to draw a hundred, no, I've already drawn 90 characters. I need 10 more to finish off the 100 character draw challenge. Um, so, because we need to, we need to finish this. So I thought, hey, let's just do it in a stream. Yeah, so for those of you who didn't watch last week's, we, the winner was Frosta, which is so cute. But look at all these. Oh my goodness, there's so many. And I have nine cards. I have to go cut one more, so that's lame. Unless I can find find it where that last piece is. I've lost the paper, so I've been having to cut the last couple of episodes um, for that. But I don't have time to really chit-chat in this. I mean, I can chat while I'm drawing, but we have to jump right into this. So just to let you know, because I'm not that cool, I have like pre-sketched up like 10 different ideas. Not that I have to stick with them. I can change things up, but I didn't want to have like an art moment where I'm like, I don't know what to draw on a live stream. So I wanted to have something kind of pre-prepared in at least a light sketch form. All right, so let's just jump into the first one. Here we go. And for this one, we're gonna draw the companion piece for Frosta. And so for this one, I thought it would be fun to give her like a pet. And I was trying to decide what kind of pet and I wanted to make it kind of like a bug, but then I wanted to make it kind of cute. So I decided to kind of come up with a moth slash puppy. I don't know what it would be called. So you guys can kind of start thinking of ideas for names, but last summer I had this really weird bug. There's a picture of it on my Instagram um, that was like hanging out looking in my window and when I would like open it up it would like tilt its head at me it was so weird it would have been cute had it not been a gigantic bug but I thought you know if I was a fairy and I wasn't scared of bugs that would kind of be like the pet I would have so we'll give him some nice big eyes and a cute little I don't know like a little Pikachu kind of mouth <laughs> This is so weird to do a 100 character draw challenge live because, um, yeah, I don't, haven't done one yet before. Why do I use brown paper instead of white? That is the question because it all started, this entire challenge started when I was at Joanne Fabrics, which was kind of like a little sewing craft store. And they had in this little dollar bin, this little pad of craft paper that was a hundred sheets and it was all this size. And I thought, wouldn't that be cute to make some little drawings on these little craft paper? And then I could, you know, just do mini art. And then I decided, hey, what if I drew 100 of them and had them all finished? And so that was kind of the start of it. But they only had like the brown craft paper. Had I a chance to do this over again, definitely would not be choosing brown paper. It's fun, but you know, sometimes you just want your colors to stand out like they normally do with white paper and they they they're different when it comes to brown craft paper. So that's challenging. I would not do it again with I would do it with a little bit bigger paper, maybe a four by six, and I would do it either cream or white. If I were, if I was ever to do this challenge again, which has been fun. It's definitely taken me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Okay. So I want him to be kind of like this little bean and I don't know, have like little caterpillar legs. You know, they have these like 
They're not like really little appendages, more like little nubs. We'll give him six because I don't know why. Because it's a little, he's a little frost butterfly puppy thing. We still haven't come up with a name. So we have to think of color. And let's go with kind of a, see this is nothing. You, you put these colors in and it really doesn't do much. I find with lighter colors, you have to really go with just color pencils, but I'm gonna lay in, lay in this color here first, and then we'll go in with something a little bit brighter. A muppy, that's kind of cute. So that, that's what the creature, kind of the species would be called, but we still have to come up with a name for the muppy. I like that. A morp. <laughs> so I was gonna do like a cat version of it. And it's a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. But then when I was doing my little sketch right here, he just kind of came out looking puppy-like. And so I gave him a little puppy tail. So I was like, oh, snuffle buns. Proxy. <laughs> I like snuffle buns. That's cute. Morp the, the muppy, the muppu. How about Frostlin? How did I come up with your zine? Like the idea of the zine that I did? Um, long time ago. I did a little, so nerdy of me, I did a little monthly web comic of uh, my adventures, mostly to keep my parents, you know, knowing that I was alive and okay, but just funny things that would happen. And um, so I kind of had some ideas from that. So I kind of pulled from that little idea of, Funny things that happens with, with artists. The actual idea of how to make the um, zine itself came from a Skillshare class that I was watching, so I didn't know how to fold the paper until then. I see it but I ain't saying it. Because if I say what you guys are saying, say this, then that's what every single comment will be. Valerie, say this, say that. I've done that before and you guys, it turns into a request to sh say my name or say this weird word. So I do see your comment, but I ain't, but I'm not saying it. <laughs> not that it's a bad word, it's not a bad word, it's just, yeah. Night wolf. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get a little bit brighter. So is anybody working on any art related projects? I have so many things I'm trying to get done because I'm going on a little mini vacation this weekend to celebrate one of my friend's birthday. So we're gonna go to Hot Springs. Won't that be fun? I haven't been to the Hot Springs in almost 10 years. So we're gonna be lounging. Last time I went to hot, it's an outdoor hot spring. Um, it actually snowed while we were at the hot springs, which was pretty magical to be outside and have gigantic snowflakes falling on you while you're in almost boiling hot water. It's perfect. <laughs> Drawing Valentine's Day pictures. That's awesome. I'm working on a zine. I'm doing a big project with Copics. That's so fun. I have way too many projects that I want to get done and I'm having to kind of tell myself I have to pick and choose. And I have to finalize what I'm going to do for Mermaid because I have some really ambitious ideas for Mermaid this year. And then just the normal kind of Mermaid. So, I'd like to do the ambitious. I'd like to come up like what I did with Hugh Ember and come up with a coloring pack 
so that people who don't want to draw mermaids but they like to color a mermaid every single day can do that and color along with me. I think that was, I had so much fun doing that with you, Vember. And, you know, I don't need much of an excuse to want to draw 30 mermaids, so. Yay! I'm trying to come up with a character for my husband because he's a curmudgeon who is going to come up with a grumpy chibi. Awesome. Character design is so much fun. All right, let's give him some nice blue eyes. Let's go with this blue right here. And we'll give him like a little inside blue mouth and nose. Shading his little wings. Kind of reminds me of like a little white Pekingese moth that would have a really high pitched yap. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take my awesome gel pen and because everyone asks what it is, this one is the Sakura de Cross, which I like. It's nice and thick. You can't get a really super thin line with it, but it's like. I love the texture of it, and it's so opaque. So if any of you don't have any arty thing to work on and are wanting to know, oh, what should I draw, what should I do? Um, I kind of snuck it in there and I just smudged this. But in, I think it was Monday's video, there is a link and I have a line art on online that I'm giving out for free. And it's, um, oh goodness, I don't know if I have the copy out here or not. But it's a, just a kind of a blank character sketch so that you can design costumes and hair and stuff like that on the character. Um, so. I know a couple of you guys have said you've used it and I've enjoyed using it. So if you want to jump over, um, grab the link off the video and you can draw along with me, create your own little fairy creatures and all that. So, all right, I think you need a little, I need to darken it up just a little bit. Kind of got a little too light. So go back in here and kind of And you guys have come up with some amazing names because now there's Meep Snow, which my dyslexia made me read it as Snow Meep, which was really cute. But Meep Snow's cute too. Oh, goodness. What to name him? Okay, last chance for everyone to get in your suggestions for names. And if you see a suggestion of a name that you like, comment that. So like I see like the same name over and over and over. Because if I see like a hundred different names, then I'm going to get like overwhelmed and be like, okay, his name is Bob. That's his name because I'm overwhelmed. So like look at everyone's comments and then find one that you like and then recomment that one so I can like have a majority ruling while I finish darkening his little outlines out. He's cute. I think I wouldn't mind having him as a pet. <laughs> but I see like the same people are commenting the same name over and over. Now there's tons of cool names. There's Juniper and Wisp and Perry, Perry or Perry Winkle from Tinkerbell. Uh -huh. Snow Meep. I do like that one. Meep Snow. Juniper. Fly Snow Fluff. Night Floof. <laughs> Snow Fluff. Fluffy. 
Bluebird. Oh, that's pretty cute. Bluebird. Juniper. Little Critter. So cute. Oh, that's not the name. I was like, Little Critter is so cute. That's a really long name. <laughs> Shmeep. Juniper. See, horse sketch, you keep on doing this. I keep thinking a bunch of people are saying Juniper. Well, a couple of you are. Okay. But good job, Juniper. Just spamming Juniper. Meep, snow, snow meep. I do like those. Fluff a love, Mimi Jr., Wisp, Moop, Whisper. Okay, I have to come. I have to come up with a name. I have to make the decision because we don't have a lot of time. This is just the first one, so I'm gonna pick the next name that I see. That's just what I'm going to do. So the next comment that pops up is Wisp. I'm going with it. Wisp. All right. Good job. There we go. First character, Wisp, is the little Frosta's little thing. Because there was just way too many cute names. All right. Next character. Ooh. I took way too long on this one. Way, way too long. I don't know if I'm going to get all done done. All right. Since we did a critter, let's do a fairy. Let's just do the next one on my list, which is kind of... um based off of a child's story, children's book idea that I wanted to write that I never have, but I, I got like all the character designs done. I might at some point re revisit it because I like the story idea. But it's a little flower, but I'm going to make this into like a flower fairy, but the base is like a flower. So the story idea is that... Um, in this garden, this little sprout sprouts up and it's a little flower and they're, you know, kind of like alive, but they're stuck in the ground anyway. And it looks around and it sees all the beautiful like roses and azaleas and all the, you know, super gorgeous flowers. And it can't wait until it blooms to find out what it is because it doesn't know what it is. And it, you know, it's imagining, oh, what if, what if I'm, you know, a daffodil, which, um, if you guys watched the video a couple of days ago, I asked you what my favorite flower is and I have so many. And as you guys were reminding me of the different types of flowers out there, I was like, oh, that's right. I like that one. Oh, I like that one. Um, but my all time favorite based on if I see it at the store, I will, if I buy a flower, that's the flower I buy is daffodils. I love daffodils. They're just happy little flowers. But anyway, back to the story. Um, and so she waits and waits and waits and, you know, she dreams about what kind of beautiful flower she will be. And then when she blooms, she finds out she's a dandelion, which all the flowers are like, oh, you're just a weed. You don't belong in this garden. And the gardener's going to come and, you know, pluck you out and throw you in the waste bin and all that. And so she's really, really sad. And um, so I don't want to give away the story. It ends happily, but kind of dealing with how we kind of see ourselves as, oh, I wish I was this and I wish I was that. And when we find out what we are, we're not satisfied. And we think, oh, we don't have a purpose. We're, we're no good. And how, mm -mm, that's, we're wonderfully and beautifully created to be exactly how we are. And we have value no matter if the world doesn't think we have value, that we have value. So I will... Someday we'll hopefully get that illustrated and done something with because I like the story idea. Now I just told you guys all my story idea. This doesn't look like the character totally. It's a little more human than the little flower person I had. But she's pretty cute. I'm taking way too long on these drawings though. I think my goal, lofty goal of getting 10 of them done. <laughs> Not so lofty. And now my computer's saying, hey, do you want to restart? I'm like, no, that's never a good sign. Let's have her sitting. Oh, we're running out of paper room. Why did I choose such a small paper size?
Okay, we're gonna call that good for the sketch. And feeling some greens coming in. So let's go ahead and just throw in some color here. So I'm gonna to try to at least get five so we can vote. So the reason I have to cut this short is because I'm gonna go see the Lego 2 movie. I'm so excited. So we were gonna go see it on Valentine's Day, but everyone has conflicting schedules. So some of my friends can't go see it earlier and some of my friends can't go see it later, but we all wanna go see it together. So I just decided to go see it today instead. But then I was like, oh, I have a live stream. I'm trying to get all this stuff done. Actually, I was going to just simply record the video and then edit it but I, and put it out today. But I thought, oh, I just don't have time to do the art and then edit everything. So I thought, oh, let's just do the live stream. I'm waiting to, for How to Train Your Dragon 3. I know, me too. So many people have gotten to see it already because I guess it's out in a lot of different countries. Which, I don't know why they have to wait for some countries. Like, why not just open it worldwide, not just some places. I think that's weird. I think we should revolt. We demand equal release dates for everyone. So if you have seen either of the movies, please no spoilers. Because now I'm kind of scared to look at the comments. Because <laughs> I don't want to get anything spoiled. When I was little, really little, because, you know, most of you are like, you were alive when that came out? Land Before Time, the first movie when it came out. I was so excited to go see it. And I was going to go see it on my birthday. And I was hanging out with some friends and their little brothers and sisters. And they Boiled it for me. They told me one of the main plot points, and I was like, what? So sad. So don't be a spoiler. Okay, this person looks pretty cute, but also kind of creepy with her non colored eyes. So let's go ahead and give her some eye color right there. Pretty intense eye color. And some wings, and I feel like she needs just like a little peachy cheek color. Give her some little blush, little pink nose. And then her eyes are a little too bright, so let's give her a little bit of. Shadow towards the top, darkening the eyebrows. I think we're pretty good. So, you guys can come up and think some new names. And when they get done, I will again, unless there's a name that jumps out at me, I might. Um, just do like I did with the first one and just pick the first name that I see. But we'll read a couple of name suggestions beforehand. Floofpum, Daphne Emerald, Dandelion or Dandy, Petal. Oh, I like Petal, that's cute. Can't read comments while I'm like lining things that can be dangerous for art. Give her a little bit of detailing on here. She's cute. I like her. All right. We got Daphne Emerald, Daphne, Daphne, Emmy, Dandy, Bloomica. Oh, that's cute. Sybil, Dandy, Daphne, Petal, 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 Emerald, Petal, 
Daphne, Daphne. So it's kind of like between Daphne and Petal. So the first one I see that's either Daphne or Petal, I'm going to choose. Ready? And we have Sybil and Petal. It is Petal. All right, her name is Petal. Petal. That's a very cute name I like that one. But I do like Daphne. Though I think Daphne, I'm almost thinking we have a Daphne in the 100 characters already. All right, so there it is. So now we have two of them. All right. So here we go. Next one. Let's go with, I kind of want to do an undersea one. So I have a couple that are kind of watery themed. Let's do the, I want to do like a jellyfish designed fairy. So it's like a mermaid, only like jellyfish-ish-ish-ish. -ish -ish. I did a drawing a while ago in my sketchbook and it was like a jellyfish mermaid ballerina and it turned out really cute only it was in my sketchbook and not super neat and tidy and I've never been able to recreate it on how I um bum oh, hand take care of a rude comment oh I don't need that now do we okay there we go um yeah I haven't been able to recreate it so just one of those that's just the watercolor aligned so beautifully. But now to try to get her to fit in this little tiny piece of paper. Why did I decide, why did you decide to do all your 100 character draws on such small paper? Mm. Yes, that is the question, which we already talked about earlier. So you'll have to rewatch the stream to hear the story. But definitely not something I would repeat because you kind of need a little bit of room to design your character. So if you're thinking about doing this, I would advise something a little bit bigger. Also, it is a huge strain on my hands to like hold the paper so it's not wiggling around. And I guess I'm getting old because my eyes I like I want to put my head super close to it so I can see what's going on but obviously there's you know this camera right here and it just doesn't work so well but so we'll make her a little bit of floofy there okay so for this one I'm feeling some pink so I'm going to put a darker pink base which on this brown paper isn't super pink it's just kind of pinky brown again wouldn't go with brown craft paper either <laughs> I mean sometimes doing art on brown craft paper is really fun but when you're doing character design you want to be able to get true colors and you can't really get them as well with brown craft paper because it just doesn't work out so well what brand of gel pen do I use it is a Sakura de Cross. I showed it a little bit earlier in the stream in more detail, so you can go back and rewatch the stream if you want to see the name brand or how it's spelled and stuff like that. So she's cute already. I like this now. Let's see if I get a light pink color pencil. That's not as light as I want it though. What can we do? This one, I think this one will be. That is about as light as the paper. <laughs> That's pretty low. All right, let's just go back to white. Actually, this isn't white. This is light green gray. That's not white. False. 
There we go. This one is, that's a watercolor pencil. How do watercolor pencil get in my regular pencil jar? Because it looks like a regular pencil. Goodness gracious. Oh, let's go to this one. This one is my, oh, I can never say this name. The, the, the Cren D, yeah, yeah, it's a different brand. It's supposed to be super awesome. All I know is it was really expensive. And it's a bigger pencil. And so, like, it doesn't fit in my normal pencil sharpeners. So, I have one pencil sharpener that fits it. And I can't see it. So, it's not super, super sharp. So, I'm not getting the point that I want. I'm not making the point that I want to make. What will I do with all the characters when I'm finished? That is a good question. I have a couple of ideas. Um, I want to get a good scan of all of them. And I think it would be really fun to do a poster with all of them. Because you can't really blow the images up to be like a print size. So you'd want everything to be small like this. Um, just because they're, they are so small that if I were to make them super large... It just wouldn't look, I don't think it would look so great, but I think like a poster with, with all of them on it would be kind of fun. Um, some people have asked if I'm going to do a zine. I thought about it, but I have other things I'd rather put in a zine. Um, I'm kind of thinking about, I don't know if I should, I'm still thinking about it. I don't want to say it until I make a decision because then if I decide not to do it, then I'm going to be like, but you said you were going to do this with it. And I'll be like, I know I changed my mind. Because I do that. Change my mind. All right. I'm going to try to get all these little tentacles. See, if I'd done all these 100 character drawings on larger pieces of paper, 5 by 7 or even 4 by 6, then I feel they'd be they'd be nice enough quality that um, making a little book out of them would be fun. I still haven't quite finalized the idea of what the winning character gets. I have thought of doing another kind of choose your own adventure story with that being the main character, but I don't know. The story ones are, they take a lot of, that's a lot of work. So. It's tapping ASMR. Well, she turned out cute. I like her coloring. All right. Name ideas. I didn't ask for name I did earlier, but you guys have been already putting them up there. Jelena, Peanut, Jelly, Lum Lumina, Pinjali, Jello. <laughs> uh, Melodonna, Jessie Bell, Cute Jelly, Peanut, Jelena. Notice all your names. That's a lot of names. You're, you're like a name generator, Allie. That's awesome. Um, Flo, Jelsifer. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to count down from 10 to 1, and then the first name that I see, which again, note there's a slight delay, so I'm like. 10 seconds behind all of you guys or something so you'll type something but I'm like I didn't see it because there's like a delay anyway so I'll count down and then the first name that I see I will take it as long as it's appropriate so 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 I'm holding a pencil 2 1 and it is Dory 
<laughs> okay, her name is Dory. Which is cute. It's a little fishy name. <laughs> All right. There we go. The name. Bum, ba, da, bum. Okay, so we have three down. I don't think we're going to get ten because I have like a half an hour max before I have to just run out of here. But we'll see what we get. We'll see. All right, so we did an undersea creature. Let's do another creature creature. So I'm going to turn the paper this way, I think. No, I'm going to keep it this way. So just so you guys know, because I, I showed at the very beginning of the stream, I did a little, like, quick sketches of, like, a whole bunch of the characters. So I kind of have an idea of some. Some of them I don't really care for, so I might change them up. But I have, like, some little sketches. So I have this kind of owl horse-like creature, which is kind of cool looking. So I thought, let's, let's do that one, because that would be fun. All right, so he has an owl face. with these kind of big, like, you know, owls have like the tufts, but I want them to be kind of more like ears. Very similar to my cat dragon video that I did, I guess. It's kind of inspired by that, but more owlish than cattish. And we'll give some kind of lemony eyes. And then the beak. Like he's kind of like a a hippogriff kind of thing. Hippogriff mixed with My Little Pony or something. <laughs> so I'll give him a long neck. But it doesn't have any wings, which is weird. I, when I drew the sketch, I was like, should I put wings? And it was just too much because it has like this flowing mane and has like feathery legs. So I don't know, maybe it's feathery legs can become like wings. I don't know. So it's kind of deer-like too. But we'll give him like a big roofy tail <laughs> so speaking of movies have any of you guys seen any of the Leica Studio movies? So they did Coraline and Kubo and the Two Strings and Box Trolls. I went um, last year and I did a little video on it. I went to Portland and they had an exhibition at the Portland Art Museum with all their models. So they're a, a 3D animation, but they actually have like the figures. I have a Kubo figure. I've never taken it out of the box yet. I want to because I like taking things out of the box, but I haven't done it yet. Um, but then they move the figure a little bit and um, make the movies in. Oh, so beautiful. I especially love Kubo. I think Kubo is my favorite out of all of them. But Coraline is celebrating its 10th year since they've made it. I think that was like their, I think it was their first one that they'd ever done. So they're doing a special thing that across the Pacific Northwest, they've chosen like four or five different um, um, historical movie theaters to, to do a special showing. And one of the movie theaters is the one in my town. So I'm gonna go and see that this week. So I'm excited. I guess some people from Leica Studio will be there and it'll be pretty cool. So if you have a chance to see Coraline, I don't, I think it's on, um, Netflix, you can watch it. So if you haven't seen it or any of the Leica studios, they're pretty cool. All right, so what color? I immediately went with blue because that's just kind of in my head, but it could be any color. So um, maybe we'll do a purpley white or we could go really dark or we could go natural. We could go like, like some browns and grays. I don't know. I just automatically went with blue, but then I thought, wait a minute, it doesn't have to be blue. 
could kind of think about what color we want to make it because that's kind of the fun idea. Normally, if I wasn't on a bit of a time crunch, I would do like a little thumbnail and play out some different colors. But, uh, so yeah, some purple or green. Or maybe purple and green. That's a fantastic color combination. Let's play around with that. Let's go with, where's the color I'm looking for? Is it this one? This one might be too dark. Let me see. Yeah, that one's really dark. But okay. Fill in some shadows with it, otherwise it would look weird since I just was originally going to make the main green. I don't know why I decided to test the color on the main, but we'll make the body green and the main will be like a purple. So we'll keep that one to the side and we get a fill with it's kind of a magenta -y purple, I think. Again, with brown craft paper. You never know exactly the colors you're going to get. But the nice thing about this is that color pencil lays over so nicely on top of the marker, but not the opposite way. So if you're doing color pencil and then you want to lay your marker on top of the color pencil, if it's a wax-based color pencil. Um, yeah, it doesn't play very nicely with other mediums, but if you do your watercolor or your marker first and then go over top of that with color pencil, you can. I mean, you can put some color on top of color pencil, but it just, it's a little bit more persnickety at that point. It's got some crazy hair. All right, let's go with some green. Which again, brown craft paper and green, they kind of laugh at each other going, really? You thought you'd get a nice pastel green, didn't you? <laughs> so, but it's okay. <laughs> I like the name Calypso, that's kind of cool. Nebula, Griffey, Cosma, that's kind of a cool name. Oh, let's go with a horizon green. I don't know. I always think they're going to be too vi vibrant, but with brown craft paper, it kind of dulls the vibrancy of the color down anyway, so it just mutes it out. Makes them all kind of very desaturated. Color eyes should we give it? I'm kind of feeling like we should go with purple. Maybe a little bit of shading with this blue in the tail. I inspire you to draw more. Awesome. Well, when I watch people draw, I get inspired. So when you draw, then you will shall inspire people too. And it'll be like the, the great circle of inspiration. Remember who you are. You are an artist. You must take your place in the circle of art. Just keep arting, just keep arting. What do you do? You draw, draw, draw. Let's see, we have to make a decision about the eyes. Someone suggested yellow. It might work. Let's put the yellow for the beak and see what I'm feeling. But there's no other yellow in the actual creature. Let's grab our, where did I throw my white? I lost it, put it someplace. No, no. What 
does a person lose a color pencil very easily, I guess? Try not to make a lot of noise because I want to deafen you guys because my microphone's like right there. <laughs> Crashing through my art supplies. Seriously, it was right here. But now it's not. It's not. Oh. And it's not like I don't have other white pencils. Here it is. Found it. Went out and hung out in the blues. Wait. Stamped. Oh, this is a different brand. This is... This is a chalk pastel, oh, but it might work. Ooh, it is. It's very vibrant, but it's got that chalk. It's chalky, but that's okay. Kind of, kind of liking it. It's kind of nice, actually. And if you guys know me, you know I'm not a big fan of chalk pastels. Just a heads up, though. You want to see my, uh, because it's funny that I'm playing with a chalk pastel pencil right now because I just did a video for Saturday um, and I'm playing with chalk pastels. Not my favorite. It's not this one though. I like this one. This one's nice. But see now if you, if you touch it, it smudges. I hate that about chalk pastel. Blah, 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 blah. But it worked. Oh wait, I haven't finished your eyes. <laughs> so scatterbrained today. All right, let's grab this one. Well, that yellow isn't sharpened. Neither is this one. That's a dull yellow. I like this one. All okay, right, so I have this yellow, but I need to sharpen it. But my sharpener is really loud. So I'm going to mute my microphone so I don't blast your eardrums. And I'm going to sharpen this up because it is like yellow chartreuse. And I think it'll be awesome. So there's not going to be any sound for a few seconds. So I'll be right back. There, see, that wasn't so bad. Hopefully, hopefully that worked. <laughs> I broke the tip of the pencil. I sharpened it too much. All right, well, that wasn't as vibrant as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh, well, we're going to go ahead and outline this while you guys come up with some cool names. That's pretty cute. All right. We've got Gavin and Griffey and Talon and Tallow and Calypso and Zilda and Siren and Natri and Goldie and Cosmo and Gavin and Talon and those are some pretty fun names. Okay, so I'm gonna count down from five because we don't got all day. And I will choose the first name that I see. So, five, four, three, two, one. The next name is Saren. S-A-R-R-E-N. There we go. That's a pretty cool. So we have four done. These are kind of cool. They're very pastel-y. Like some of them that I have really are really bold in the lines. I think that's because I'm not inking them in. Like normally after I do the sketch, then I ink some of them in. So you get like a little bit of a bolder line. Like that one I inked in. And like that one I went with some really nice dark, dark colors. These ones I haven't inked in. I just go right into the coloring and then highlighting. So it kind of gives it a little softer look to it, which is kind of cool. Do you have a favorite yet in the vote? Which I don't, I'm not exactly sure how to do the votes. I 
think there's a way to add cards because it says cards. Um, but we'll figure that out. I'm going to do at least one more. And then I might have to stop because I have to get ready to go. So, okay. So we aren't finishing it. But if this is fun, then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed doing the live stream of the 100 character draw challenge. And maybe I'll do the last five in the 100 character draw challenge as a live stream as well. Because I think it's kind of fun. Um, but maybe you like it a little more streamlined and sped up. I don't know. So if you do give this video or yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Um, and if you don't just don't do anything, you don't have to give it a thumbs down. That's okay. I'll just count it as nothing. Yeah. So just, just the thumbs up and then we will, we will do this uh, again for the last five, but let's go ahead and do one more. And Oh, there's a couple that I really want to do. Should we do a, like one with a really dark, bold color? Or should we stick with our kind of a light pastel -y theme and do one that's pastel -y? So, mm. I have to think about it. Let me know. Because I have a couple characters that can have really bold, dark colors. Um, and then some of them that are, uh, that are really pastel -y colors. So, like, this one here is, like, a really bold... This one's really bold. Those ones are all bold. Bold. And like these guys are really, really super light. Anyway. Let me know. Dark, dark, pastel, pastel, dark and bold, dark colored, pastel, 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 dark, pastel, pastel. Okay, we're kind of, pastels are kind of coming up with a theme. So let us do... Let's see, I've got a really good, I'm trying to think of like color scheme wise. So I've got blues and greens and pinks and purples. So we should try to do something that is either like a yellow or an orange color. Then I have kind of like all different kinds of colors. So let's pick something that's yellowish. Um, let's do... So that one's blue, that one's green. Let's do this one. It's kind of a one based on a harpy. Kind of. I was watching on Amazon. There's a cartoon series um, called Ronia and they have harpies. And for some reason, I really like their faces. They have really cool kind of personality. I mean, they're just different than normal harpies. Like other things I've seen with harpies, they've been very um, ugly. They make them kind of like hags where these ones are this nice mixture of, of beautiful and ugly. I don't want to do total bird because I actually have a bird character who won the, the round. So I don't want to have two kind of bird-like wings. So I'm going to give it Kind of more like, not really bat wings, kind of, I guess. I guess they're kind of, they're like a gossamer flowing, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it turns out because I'm not done drawing it. I have this like really quick sketch right here. So we'll see how this one turns out in the, in the final version. On oh, this really tiny paper, so I have to make sure our wings are all folded in beautifully I don't know if she has legs or not she's kind of seeming like she doesn't have legs her legs are kind of are disappearing a little bit so she's not really all right I don't know what she is this is one of those character designs that you're like hmm I have to think about this one but it's kind of a cool okay so her wing goes off because I just can't fit her wings in here she has too big of wings uh, let's see what for, about for hair. She's kind of dragon-like, isn't she? So maybe we'll bring up, bring up the sides into two, like, should give her like, not, not Medusa. Um, oh, the, the wicked person from Sleeping Beauty. Not Medusa, it's, meh. Mm. Who is she? The. Mm, why can't I think of her name? Someone's gonna pop it up there. 
Tell me Maleficent, that's what it is. We'll give her Maleficent horns. I have Medusa stuck in my head. So maybe she's kind of villainous, I don't know. Okay, I'm starting to now make her look a little too much like Maleficent. So. Let's give her a little bit more character so she's not Maleficent-ish. She looks like she's a fun character, though. I mean, like, species design. She would be kind of cool because she's kind of this, like, flying mermaid with wings. Does she live both in the land and the sea? Um, yeah. She's so kind of a fun character. Okay, let's add some yellow to her. Which, again, is not going to show up too much. But we'll make it the base of it is yellow. cool looking. I don't know if she's going to how pastel she's going to be because I'm seeing red wanting to jump in here, but we'll try to see if we can keep her keep her calm down a little bit. Okay, so we'll give her just kind of a nice coverage of yellow and then move on to some colored pencils. This one, again, I'm going to turn off my um, microphone for a second while I sharpen this pencil. That was the best story I ever told you guys, and you'll never, ever hear it again. I'm never telling that story again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, you guys. I thought I hit it. Did I not mute it when I sharpened my pencil? Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. That is funny. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I... Yeah, there we go. So everyone can see me, hear me? Am I good now? 
let me know if you guys can hear me now because a couple people are still saying that it's that it's me okay you can hear me good all right that's so funny i've reached over and i touched the button but i must not have fully touched it oh goodness that's pretty funny see this is why i need to constantly be checking comments because things like this but you guys are good sports and hung with me i can't even remember what awesome things i talked about but i'm sure they were great <laughs> we appreciate hearing your wisdom i know i had some really great wisdom now i was just talking about how this was supposed to be a nice pastel -y piece and it was she's slowly getting darker and darker and i did wax eloquently about how i love pieces that make you want to know the story like if you see the picture and it maybe doesn't go with the story you know like an illustration of cinderella but you see it and immediately you want to know what's going on with that character or you know what's going on in the world i love pieces of art like that like if i have art oh someone from portland is calling me probably saying you were muted now they're probably telling me my car insurance or something, you know, spam calls. I've been getting them so much. Like the warranty on your car is expiring. And I'm like, I don't have a car with a warranty. So you're not calling the right person. Anyway, I totally lost my train of thought. We're moving on. Definitely random conversations. All right, I gotta see if I can. I like wanna sharpen this pencil, but I don't wanna mute you guys. So. <laughs> there has been enough muting in today's live stream, so. No, we ain't doing it. I know, they're so annoying, the spam calls. And now, as it used to be when they called me, they were a live person. So I could have a genuine conversation with them and ask them to, of course, kindly ask them to remove me from their calling list. Um, but now they're lazy. And so there's just an automated voice. And so then they want you to call them back. I was like, okay, you guys are a spam, but you're not even trying anymore. <laughs> but I have one... Peep, one company that calls me and I don't even know what it's for because they start talking in my voicemail before like it starts recording the voicemail so I only hear them call us at blah 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 for your free blah blah and I'm like I don't even know what it is um, but they always call it at 8 o'clock in the morning every single morning so it's kind of like my final alarm to wake up I really started to depend on it, and then one day they didn't call me, and I was like, what? My final get up out of bed, you lazy slob. Alarm didn't go off. So they're not even dependable for calling you every single day. Mm. All right. So guys, I think we're just getting five of these done today. Which I knew trying to do 10 in an hour and was super ambitious but i thought i'd try if i wasn't busy goofing off and chatting i might have stood a little bit better of a chance but even when i'm recording these by myself and i go back i i know it takes me about an hour to do five of them so i thought maybe i would be like super fast but this was still fun It's pretty cool though. All right, I'm excited to find out what you guys are gonna name her. I also think this is a, a fantastic way to, to name my characters because, oh, I spend so much time sitting there going, what's your name? What's your name? And looking up name suggestions and trying to figure out one that works. And where this one, it just takes all the work out. I just look up and you guys tell me what to name her. I think that's awesome. All right, let's look at some of the names here. We have Ember. She does look like a good Ember. Lilith. M M Malaria. Zara. That's kind of a cool name. Ember or Zira. 
Horiza Lilith. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna count down to five and you guys tell me the name. So before I start counting down, start like typing in your names because by the time I get to, to one in my time zone, then I've already picked it in your time zone. So start right now, throwing in your names and I'll count down to five and then the first name I see is the one that gets chosen to be this character. So let me make sure she's in the right spot here. Hang on, let me get this up there. Okay, so ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and it is Zula. Zula is the name. All right, the name is Zula. Bum, ba, da, bum. All right, so these are the characters that we have. Try to fit them all in here. They're not all gonna fit because I have my head in the way. So let's do it this way. Oh man, there's such a mess. Okay, now supposedly there is cards here, and I think can I add a card? Hmm. Let's see. Add a card. And a pull. I think I can do this. Let's see if it happens live. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna back up a little bit. All right, so who wins? And then I'm gonna put in my choices. So we have first we have petal, petal, and then we have Dory, and then we have. Sauron. Oops, I spelled Sauron's name wrong. So, oops, still spelled it wrong. There we go. Then we have Wisp. So pull isn't up yet. I'm getting it. Wisp. And the last one is Zula. Zula. And we're, we don't even know if this is going to work. We're going to see if this works. So I'm going to create a card. Boom. It's working. Okay. So check up in the corner up here, I think. Let me look, because I always switch things around, so I don't know which way I'm pointing. Nope, corner over here. Way over there, there's a corner, like right here. There's a little eye icon, so it's a little circle. You had to you know, move your mouse around or tap the screen, but a little eye icon, and tap it, and it should, come down with, with some cards, and one of them is the who wins. I don't know, there's a random card as well. I can see if I can take that one off. Edit this card, let's delete this card. Yeah, because that is no longer an option there. So, okay. Boom. Okay, so is it working? Do you guys see the poll? Because it works for me. So I get to vote if I, if I should vote, but I don't think I get to, I should vote because I love them all. And it's like choosing my favorite child and I can't do that. So, so right up here, little I icon. It's like a circle with a letter I in it. Is anyone finding it? You might have to refresh it. So I like jump out of the stream for a second and then come right back in and see if it's there. <gasps> okay, so Sketchy Horse said she voted, or he or she, Sketchy Horse voted. All right, so it's up there. It's it's ready to be, okay, Haley found it. Mimi indeed voted. She's even telling you who they voted for. Ha 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 ha. All right, Cora said they had to close out the video and reopen it. Wolfie says refresh it and you'll find it, so yes. It works. That's awesome. Do you know this opens up a whole new world of, of being able to do things where you can do a live stream and make a poll so everyone can vote. I'm so excited. I want to. I'm curious to see who's in the lead now. Oh, so many people are voting, voting. Yay! Okay, so there's only five more. I have to cut one more piece of paper because I only have four pieces of paper because somewhere in the vast realm of my studio is these papers, but I don't know where they are. I have stuck them someplace safe, but last time I did it, 
I, I stuck these in a safe spot. <laughs> and I was like, I can't find these guys. So I'll do another live stream if, if you guys enjoy this. I think it's fun. I love doing this live wise, especially when I forget to unmute the mic. That's always a good time. So um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to do it tomorrow, but maybe maybe Friday evening, I think. I don't think I have anything going on Friday evening. We'll see. I don't like to ever schedule live streams because I never know where I'm going to be on the day that I'm supposed to be there. So yeah, but if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, you don't want to miss out on the live stream, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. And I'll also try to make a little announcement like I did on my Instagram, letting you guys know that I'm going to be doing the final stream so what we'll do is we'll pick the, the the winner from this one, and then I'll do five more, and I'll have you vote. And then we'll leave that up for a couple of days, and then when I come back from my vacation to the hot springs, we'll find out who the ultimate champion is. We'll have a, a video where maybe I'll go through every single card and then bring out the, the winners of the four rounds, and then we will have the ultimate vote to see who the 100 character draw challenge ultimate winner is ultimately is. So, yay! Anyway, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me in this stream. We streamed for over an hour. Perfect time. And uh, I love doing this. So thanks you so much. Um, I think that's all my announcements and things to talk about. So go vote if you haven't voted. If you missed the first part of the stream, you can jump back and listen to me wax eloquently as we draw these little guys, which I don't have on the screen. There we go. <laughs> um, and if you haven't checked out my other videos I just posted, I have um, a couple fun ones. On Saturday, I have a, a video where I am doing chalk pastels, which is not my favorite thing at all. Slightly, almost as bad as oils. They don't scare me as bad. They just don't like them. But I'll talk about that on Saturday's video. So, yay! Thank you guys. I'll chat with you later. Bye.